Fawaka YouTube Dano here. Um, so sorry for not uploading any videos recently, um, but most of you know that I was planning to turbocharge my Honda Prelude and I started working on it yesterday. Sorry that I, I didn't film any of yesterday's uh, activities, but I will walk you guys through on what we did and what I am planning to do next. Alright, so there you go. Um, this is the header. I kind of yesterday we worked on this manifold to connect the wastegate and the actual turbo on it. Um, the dump on the back side of the wastegate does not really fit uh, down there, so we have we would have to uh, to cut out and uh, reattach that one to a slight to a slight angle so that it can fit on the downside there. Also for uh, connecting the, the actual turbo on the intercooler, I will have I will need a, a longer tubing, or at least I will have to try to uh, fix this, kind of rotate it this um, in the way that it, it should. Let's see. Um, it seems that this here is in the way of the tubing, so this is the power steering. And I think I'm going to have to re rearrange that so I can have enough room to kind of turn the tubing into um, the turbo itself. So uh, I will uh, disassemble. I will uh, disassemble this again and uh, walk you through on how, uh, what, and what we did. Alright guys, so um, this is the waste gate and I got help from my dad uh, building this piece. This is the flange uh, that goes on the header and this side is the T3 flange that goes on the turbo. Gonna bolt that down and um, actually the waste gate should go on an, an I form, a Y form, um, but this, this will function. In a, pretty decent I think and um, also the flange that goes on uh, the wastegate um, this should be uh, cut um, again and it is actually right now um, like this so it should go a little bit dead so it can go on um, the other side of the car and also uh, from the oil feed we didn't have any manifold or um, anything to kind of hook up the line, the oil feed line. So what we did is just um, cut, made a custom uh, flange for that and welded a nut on there. Uh, so, uh, so this can just screw in like that. And this one goes to the oil, uh, to the oil feed line. What should be done next is we need to make a flange for uh, the back side of the turbo. Um, so we we'll have to do that and just uh, put uh, the excess pipe on this side. Hang on. Here. Right, so the flange um, is going on that. And we're just going to have to put this, weld this on, and that will become the exhaust port. Alright, so we were running out of uh, material to make the flange of the back side of the turbo. So uh, we're just going to be removing the saddle of uh, my dad's motorcycle. Right. This is actually an iron plate.
So remember guys, uh, my car is not professionally built, it is home built. So luckily we had a couple of iron uh, lying around. Um, so that's why we just made a cheap uh, manifold, you can say. Well actually it's attached to the, the header. Um, so we can just turbocharge the car. I didn't buy any uh, expensive gear or, or, or parts to attach the turbo. So. You gotta, you gotta, you know, do things with what you have. So yeah. So um, I was planning on installing a larger intercooler because this looks a little smallish, but for now I, uh, I guess it will do. All right, guys. So um, we ran into a little trouble with um, the, the spacing of the exhaust uh, port. There is not a lot of there is not a lot of space there, so we had to actually uh, cut the uh, this piece a little bit shorter so that we can kind of weld that on so that it can go on the underside of the engine. So um, we'll check it out. We're going to take this a little bit and see later if it fits. All right, guys. So the flange is made. Uh, that one goes on. The back side of the turbo that goes over here right and right now uh, we are going to be welding um, this piece on there it's going to be welded like that and we'll do that now all right so we shortened the this piece and check it out Right now, I cannot uh, screw that here because the screw is too tall and I might have to shorten that and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Yeah. Oh yeah, the short screw fits perfectly. There we go. So yeah, we're going to test fit this and we'll see what it wants. All right, guys. So check that out. That's a, that's a pretty tight fit. Um, this is the the dump that connects to the wastegate, and behind there, I'm not sure if you can see, is the downpipe that comes out of the turbo. Maybe if I uh, show you on the underside, there we go. There is the downpipe that connects to the turbo, and so yeah, basically it's pretty much it's pretty much in. I just need to connect um, this. This is the oil feed that connects on the back side. Uh, I will probably film that later. Um, it's, it's, I, I might have to go under the car. So, so yeah, this is the oil feed. And I will also have to um, connect the, the oil drain, which is this here. This should connect on the turbo there. And this one, the, the, the line connects to um uh the oil the oil the oil can here the oil pan so yeah this is the basically the way the um the turbo kit is going to sit um on the back side we have the down pipe for uh, the down pipe for that goes um that sends the exhaust and we have the wastegate dump connected right to the side of that okay so right now we are uh, fitting uh, a metal gasket to kind of seal out um, the, the exhaust leaks first gasket is, is already made now busy with the second one Okay, uh, got the second one made. Check this out. Precise fitment of the washers. 
All right, guys. So um, the turbo is already uh, mounted on. I have not yet uh, connected. I have not yet connected uh, the oil feed or oil return or the intake itself. It's getting pretty late, but we'll start it up and let's we'll see what it sounds like. Okay. Hold this. Hold this. Why are stuff on the battery? Chef. I a bloopers. guys it's totally drivable so yeah all right guys so there you have it uh, this will be the end of uh, part one um, I still need to connect a couple of things uh, oil feed and the turbo itself but it is on um, it's still it's still pretty loud so I'm guessing I will need to uh, mount the exhaust system as well uh, but but yeah so um, stay tuned for part two. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for the coming updates. See ya.